Good morning, guys. Welcome to a brand new day of me alone at the barn. Sam and I always make it sound like poor us were here alone. But in reality, we both like love it. Hi, sweet girl. Hello, with your bad haircut. She's so cute. All right, yes. I hear you, I see you. Right, we're all good. Stella, you good in the back? All right, so they're eating, and I'm gonna get the arena cleaned up and opened up while they eat, and so I always like to take a few minutes to tell you guys, to explain things that you guys just might be confused about in the comments. Uh, so one, collection and Gabby, this has been like a huge issue all along, and basically, this is probably the last time I'm gonna explain it. Not because you guys don't deserve to understand, but just because I've said it so many times, um, and not everybody wants to hear it a million times, but basically, through her training, through the girls' training, they're taught as beginners to ride without collection and to give the horse their face, taught not to pull on the horse's face, so it's a big part of our training. And then, as they get closer to being able to collect, they're trained to not be able to do it until they can do it correctly, because improper collection is way worse than collection. So, because it causes a lot of problems in a horse's back, which Storm did have, um, which Storm does not have now. Anyways, um, so because of all her training is taught to give away the reins, give away the reins, she is learning to collect now, and it's just gonna be a process, just like everything else. One day, nobody's gonna say, why is Gabby's rein so long? Soon it'll be, why are Sophie's reins so long? And like in yesterday's lesson, um, Storm, the, the, Gabby was battling a bunch of different um, things, she was, battling storm freaking out it was a new environment a new place and then when and also you can't collect until your horse is very warmed up because you don't want to hurt their neck they need to stretch it out first and i believe that and our trainer teaches that and so that's another reason why some of her lessons she's not collecting she doesn't just hop on and collect with all the rain and all the mud lately i've not cleaned mucked i have not poop picked this field so i'm going to do that today ah uh, and i'm also leaving it open so the girls because eventually the girls will have the whole run of this whole area plus a whole heck of a lot more like it'll go back further go all the way around this will be like a big huge winter paddock eventually i'm in love with the bag that i got yesterday at the tax store if you didn't see that video it was yesterday's um video so so far in it i have our our bug spray i have the spot cleaner and i have show sheen and i have uh Quick wipes, leather cleaner, uh, perfect for show. So I'm gonna bring that. That's just gonna go popped right into our tack trunk. Oh, I need that. Jeez, I didn't just come in here to show you. I actually need it. Also, the girls are gonna be doing videos this week. Ooh, this week on their channels. They're gonna be doing um, packing their tack trunk, cleaning their tack, like all the stuff you need to do before you go to the show. And it's literally like a week long process. And then. There's going to be the whole process of us giving our horse bath, baths. We have discussed it and discussed it and we do not know where we're going to give our horses a bath. It's like, no idea. We have a hose that we can use anywhere pretty much outside. I just don't know where or where we're going to do it. Sam can rig up something, I'm sure. But yeah. All right, let's get the horses out. All right, Willow. It's you and me, sister. And you're getting the bug spray. You ready for it? Okay, so... Don't laugh, this is going to be me trying to spray her on the run because she just does not stand still. And she doesn't, yeah, see, I can't even show it to her, but I need to get her sprayed. Willow, you gotta get sprayed, my love, okay? I don't wanna scare you, so let's just do this. Look, see, it's a bottle. Yeah, see, I didn't even spray it. Just let her know that it was about to happen. All right, I'm turning off the camera so I can just spray it. Good thing I turned off the camera. You guys would have all been like, you're doing it wrong! and she showed me that butt and that butt is looking way more powerful than normal i literally do not think that she would ever kick me but she hid in the corner and showed me the butt anyway let's do stella let's do stella and then we're ready to roll and remember stella is afraid of bug spray and remember that i have to learn through trial and error and i'm not perfect at this gabby is a lot better at it so is sophie but if i don't do it i'm never gonna learn all 
slide free. It's okay. free today. Loving it. They're like, where's my food? Uh-oh. What was that cough about? They're like, I got no food. Willow's like, I'm going for grass. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's why I put that bug spray. That stuff's expensive. first started our horsey journey on this channel we got a lot of hate about buying our kids horses because they're too young people did not understand that Tim and I wanted to like have the experience of horses too there they are Make you notice that our lives about all you we are trying to figure out how to show Stella um, two issues one what the heck are we gonna do with Willow our trailer only carries three horses Otherwise, I'd bring Willow just so that we could show Stella. Uh, so I don't know what we're going to do with her. And number two, Stella would not have done well in that arena yesterday. Like, there's no way she could handle that. But the, sh the place we showed last year, I actually think that she, she might be able to manage that place. Especially now that she's calmer. But I don't know. I don't know. I just feel bad seeing her sit here. Like, she notices when we take the boys places. She knows. She knows they're gone now. She like, I don't know. And she's a mare. She likes to be busy. She likes to have a job. You're standing by you every time. pick the field so much is that one it's so calming and relaxing and two, two I get an opportunity to look around and see what the boys have dug up because sometimes just from them running around out here they turn up stuff under the ground I found like crazy crazy things usually just little pieces of wood that I like to get rid of but it's so rewarding and so relaxing and hopefully the girls come because I'm doing this today instead of mucking Dolls. So crazy in life how it seems like some days everything is going up, 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 and then like for the next couple of days it's going down, 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 and then up, and we're feeling like we're in an up part right now. Tomorrow I'm going to the fair with Kaylee. About time you showed up. 
Yeah, he did come early this morning and help me take uh, Finn, but I didn't need help. I can do them. But it's better for them to have us both. Yeah, for sure. Can you please eat this grass for me? <laughs> grass is actually good. All right, so guys, shout out to Day by Day Vlog dot edits underscore for making a the best edit. edit in the history of the world. Okay, so I saw it a few days ago, but Gabby was grounded from her phone. So this is her name. She has our logo, but different. Uh, day by Day Vlogs dot edits underscore, and this is it. But we can't we can't play it because of copyright. But we might be able to play the first little bit. So let's try it. It's so Wait, funny. I'm gonna skip to the... Okay, because it's so cute. It's like one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Wait, um... When Gabby to... saw it, she came running upstairs. She's like, oh my god! We were sitting together. Oh, well, she came running. She came screaming to me. Alright. <laughs> it's funny, but... Yeah. You just have to go see it. Yeah. This is funny. Yeah. Show that girl some love. Basically, it's about um, uh, Gabby and Storm, and they're together, and then their friend, Gabby's friend, Steve, which is Ruby, who always wants to tag along. It was so funny. So funny. So cute, huh? We are doing a pre show tack cleaning because it's amazing how fast your tack gets messy so gabby's two racks are these two are these two hooks here yeah here that can go in the middle like i don't know why we bought this we're never going to use it unless we have to like at a show or something i need three racks just just telling you now all right so True. All right, both of you guys can have three racks, and I don't know what I'll do with all the extra yeah. stuff. Uh, every stall needs a halter and a lead rope hanging off of it. Anyway, we're just uh, organizing stuff right now. I feel like things like bulky, things, things like this should be hung someplace else because they're for the trailer. We also need to find a better spot for all of our saddle pads because we do not have enough storage over here. If you guys saw yesterday's video, you saw that Storm blew his bell boots. Bell boots. So luckily we have two more pairs to, to get us through the season, hopefully. Like that looks a lot better. A lot of you guys were telling me that we need hoof oil for the show. And we have it. We have hoof dressing. Anyway, I don't like to use a lot of this because it can soften their hooves, but especially during the mud season, but we will use it during shows. I can see the water. I know. Just have to shake it up. That's conditioner that we put on our horse's tail. Uh, we also have hoof ointment, so basically we have two different kinds. Any kind that we need, any kind that we want to use. This is hoof conditioner. This is hoof dressing. Also, here's some of our... Um, actually, this should go like this. We can fit more stuff in here, maybe. Um, we have all of our grooming stuff on here as well. We should have like a grooming, a grooming section and a tack section. Well, I put all of our horse products here, all of our grooming products here. Plus, I have this little bag of grooming products that we're going to be putting all of our show stuff in. I also have hairspray or paint. Uh, horse paint that I spray paint that I can put in here. Um, also, for all you guys at telling us to get some fly masks, dun da da da, we got fly masks. So essentially, we have one for Storm, fancy, one for Finn, poor Finn, not so fancy. But probably comfy because it's so light. That's bigger than Storm. I don't know. I don't one know if it'll fit. Storm, one for Stella. Oh. And one for Finn. Oh, that's right. One for Storm. One for Stella. And Finn gets the prettiest one. This used to be Stella's. So well, I got it. Oh. I also got sunglasses with it. Remember? Yeah. Let's see. And Put it on there. And, and a lead rope. Where's your lead rope? I can't see anything. So, dark. so do you think that'll fit Finny Finn? Yeah, I tried it on him. And it oh, fits. okay. Will you hear my heart
Get your rope. Get your halters. I hope you will see If you're gonna run away from me, then you're gonna run. Okay, okay. Finn's a racer. Literally, I'm standing out here and I don't even feel any bugs. I see a few little ones that do nothing flying around. Get their halters! Gabby's like, this is it. Finally, they listen to their mom. Okay. I can't walk up to them. I won't lie to you. Fine, since I'm caught, look at him. Farmer storm with the grass in his mouth. Good boy. I actually hate it. old owner taught him to do this with fly masks. In lessons yesterday, the funniest thing happened. We were, it's Fiona and I were in the ring and the girls were having their lesson. It was going so good. And then we all look over and there's Sam sitting in a chair and there's horses all over top of him. They're all surrounding him. And Sam said they were licking him, smelling him. <laughs> so funny. You hear my heart beating for you now. I'm here standing by you every time. Mm -hmm. Walmart with Sophie and I just found something I love. That's cool. $80. Isn't that cool? They're not huge though. They don't have guys look. More mini kit. So the thing that I really like about these is that we just posted a video on our Facebook channel of how you could use something like this with a horse, but the bigger ones. But if you want to see what it is, check out our Facebook page. We're getting this. this no, I like that too. A giant Jenga. But then if it falls, it falls and your face can get hurt. Oh yeah, that would be bad. You know how you go to a uh, dance recital and you bring the little girl flowers well I go to Brooklyn's and her grandparent her other grandparents bring her flowers and her parents bring her flowers and I bring her a toy because you can only get so many flowers when you're sick this is the softest feeling poop I ever felt and I felt some poop you guys but feel the unicorn oh the unicorn is just as nice the sunglasses try sunglasses oh I love this the shadow so this year, since we're not going to be using our trailer too much because because we have uh, horse shows and horses at home, uh, my oldest son Mark and his wife are going to be using it a lot. So my granddaughter is going to be at the beach a lot. And so I thought about like getting her, making her a little basket with like a beach towel and some beach stuff just for her, for her dance recital. I don't know though. This is cute. Stay fancy. We went everywhere in search of this for Sophia and Finn, and I am dying to try it. So, uh, 
I'm familiar with like an old, uh, with a different brand. It was like a silver bottle. This is the only one that this store carries. It was the only one I was able to find, but it's supposed to be really good for gray hair or like blonde hair. I'm gonna wash the girl's hair with it. Basically, it is super blue, purple. So these are our three, five different crops that we have, different kinds of crops. Three of them are gel. And then we have this dressage whip, and then we have this lunging rope, I mean this lunging whip, which of course is pink and dirty. That's why I got black. And then we have another dressage whip here, and then we have another, uh, no, we have two lunging ropes, two lunging whips, and two dressage whips. All right, what is wrong with this picture, you guys? Comment below if you see anything in this picture that does not belong. Anything in this picture that does not belong. Just in case you guys need a clue. Another thing that I got, I got four of these baby wipes. That's gonna go in our, in our, in there. Wow, this bag is heavy now. So, so far, we've been riding Stella really, really well, consistently, just like our vet recommended. What a beautiful baby. What a beautiful girl. Oh, uh oh. One of the things that we learned with Stella is that as long as we tell her not to do something before she does it or just as she's about to do it, she's like, okay, fine. But we actually have to tell her. So the idea of this with Gabby is that she's teaching her we are only going to canter when you're balanced and sane. If you start to get worked up, we're not going to canter. Putting my hands forward so I don't have to loosen my reins and reach forward. Almost. So all these hours that Gabby puts into her, teaching her that we only canter when we're calm, are, is what I like. Yeah, good girl. Nope. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. So Finn, Finn called to Sophie and said, Sophie, I think you could ride me bareback today. Um, I need someone to stand over on that side. Okay, hold on. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. Stunt riding. That was Gabby's first taste of stunt riding. Oh my gosh, Gabby, are you gonna be a stunt rider? Are you gonna be a stunt rider? Just say the word and we can leave this place. Yeah, that's good. It looks like he doesn't feel uncomfortable, so that's good. <laughs> be careful. Got me going on.
it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love Looking good. It's not quite dry enough to ride in yet. You can pass. You gotta get some chairs here. Gotta recoat all the straw. And get more rope. Get more rope. Yeah, I need to get a uh, steel post for the corner. When I look in your eyes, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.